good morning all students so today we are going to see we, we are going to have second lecture uh, in between i could not make my lectures but here after i will be making <coughs> every day at least uh, for one hour lecture and uh, so we can now go much faster and much regularly uh, okay so today we will be seeing um, related to super con con conductor something called persistent current uh, this is not working persistent current persistent current <coughs> uh so i hope you all have gone through the things we have discussed before so just to revise in a minute we discussed uh, <clears throat> we started discussion of superconductivity so what is superconductor uh then we saw meissner effect so meissner effect and uh how magnetic external magnetic field is getting expelled and for superconductor if as minor meissner effect becomes true that all superconductors are perfect diamagnetic material and there was a little proof uh, of that mathematical proof that we saw so the next topic uh, further we also saw critical magnetic field so what is critical magnetic field the magnetic field strength at which superconductivity gets completely destroyed it's called critical magnetic field and there was also a mathematical relation of hct so these all things if you have not seen those please refer back to your notebooks or you can probably also watch the videos if those are still online okay <clears throat> persistent current so suppose superconducting material we have but it is in the form of a ring so like a circular ring circular ring and which is placed in the magnetic field so it is something like this suppose this is a ring this is a ring and this is placed in the magnetic field so these are magnetic field lines these are magnetic field lines okay so this ring is a superconducting material uh next time onwards i'll be using multiple color uh, pen so that will be easier for you so this is superconducting material okay so <clears throat> so so this is external magnetic field which for external we always use h bar so this is external magnetic field and this is the ring which is kept in the external magnetic field though this is superconductor this was not kept at temperature which is below critical temperature so the temperature is more than tc so though this is superconductor material this is not in superconducting state already okay so we got superconductor of this temperature and we just started uh, external magnetic field this is the situation okay now a <clears throat> uh, current will be continue to so suppose this if this superconductor is now cool down after magnetic field is switched on later on i cool this down so i make this temperature lesser than tc suppose this happens so the next state i will be showing here so because this is a loop or ring better i will show this in a solid form so something like this so to make you understand better so this is a ring okay now it started working well this is a ring which is solid <clears throat> and uh, because now temperature is less than tc what what would happen 
this inter the all magnetic field inside this loop will be getting expelled and as because it has to get expelled we already know meissner effect fails so magnetic field gets expelled so what happens is there is current gets induced on this loop in such a way that there will be magnetic field will be expelled the, the the magnetic field will be induced which will be exactly equal and opposite to the external magnetic field okay so if mag external magnetic field is in this direction the current will be induced in such a way that its own magnetic field or call it like induced magnetic field will be in the this direction and that will be equal and opposite that is the main argument okay so i made this diagram l so this was the original internal magnet uh, external magnetic field which we call as h bar after temperature goes below critical temperature there will be induced current which will be flowing in such a way that there will be another magnetic field which this loop will create by itself that will be equal and opposite to this external magnetic field so your field inside has to go in so something like this so if you can imagine right hand thumb rule that uh, if magnetic field has to go in like this due to the flow of the current of a loop the flow of current of a loop has to be in this direction this is current flow current flow <clears throat> so this is now already the current is flowing like this this is induced current that happened because external magnetic field was there and temperature was below critical temperature now the, the interesting thing further happens is suppose if you switch off this external magnetic field even though now if even if you uh, switch off this external magnetic field this induced current flowing like this see uh, please take the note this is shown magnetic field direction which is induced magnetic with this and this this is the current flowing like in this direction now this is superconductor so superconductor means uh, resistance zero already current is flowing so even if you now switch off this external magnetic field this current has no resistance it is already flowing in real way so it will keep flowing forever like very very long time this is called persistent current okay so please start writing uh, some of the important points just give the title persistent current persistent current persistent current okay a uh, superconducting ring placed superconducting ring placed in a magnetic field if a superconducting ring is placed in a magnetic field and cooled to below the critical temperature if superconducting ring placed in a magnetic field and cooled to below the critical temperature it becomes superconducting it becomes superconducting that which we know that okay now further part the external field external field induces current in the ring external field induces current in the ring that was expected that is what we have discussed here okay further write down when switched off when switched off external magnetic field when switched off external magnetic field the current will continue to keep flowing on its own the current will continue to keep flowing on its own such a steady current flowing such a steady current flowing with with 
such a steady current flowing with undiminished strength undiminished means it is not getting reduced such a steady current flowing with undiminished strength it's called persistent current <clears throat> it's called persistent current please draw this diagram i take a moment you can pause this video so you can draw this diagram well okay so as we saw the persistent current goes flowing for very very long time because simply it is superconductor it has almost zero resistance it is has pract almost practically zero resistance okay the f just uh, write down so because there is no resistance there are no even heat losses so just write down further important point if <coughs> if superconducting ring has a finite resistance r which might be extremely small but some finite resistance if superconducting ring has finite resistance capital r the current circulating the current circulating will have relation current circulating will have relation this which is i of t equal to i0 into e raised to minus rt by l i think it is much visible so where this l is the inductance of the ring l inductance l is inductance of the ring okay so <clears throat> just write down one more pa uh, one more line it persists the current persists for more than current persists for more than current persists more than 10 raised to 5 years 10 raised to 5 years so like 10000 years it can just keep circulating so that is very interesting uh, phenomenon and which happens in the real world right so okay so this was all about uh, persistent current uh see you in the next lecture uh, next video today only